All right, I'm on hole number six of the East Coast Tournament. Let's go to uh, Golf Clash Notebook and check it out. Hole number six. All right. I'm going to, I'm, I'm doing, you can hit over here and try and get over. You can hit out here and try and get on in two or right out in front. This is your eagle shot. This is how you get the consistent eagle. I'm going for the max overpower hook shot and I'm going towards this tree in the middle. Now I do know that if you use an extra mile and a quasar and you hit at that little tree, if you get way down in there where you can see it, there's a bunch of these tall trees and then there's like a bush out in front or a small tree out in front. If you aim right dead center towards the, the trunk of that tree and put on an extra mile, I took the wind out when I was here before and it was 4.2 wind and I just barely missed that just barely missed it i'm almost thinking i could have left the wind in and i would have cleared it but i'm almost thinking that i'm going to switch to a quasar for two reasons one let's let's look at the thing here i'm thinking i'm going to switch to a quasar because with a with a or excuse me a katana my red line with a quasar is right there. And when I took the wind out, the wind's blowing in this kind of like in a forward direction. When I took the wind out, I barely missed that. So if the wind would have pushed me forward on my arc, I would have came out and I would have been more into the clear. But my trajectory with that, with that two side spin ball, my, my trajectory was, is leading you off in this area where you can bleed off into this rough. And I have a lot of room right here where I could come out, you know, give myself a little bit more room. I'm thinking I'm going to use it. And so I don't take the risk of clipping the rough in here. I'm going to try a quasar and see what it does. Because I know the shot works with a, or excuse me, not a quasar, with a katana. <laughs> you guys listen to my video sometimes and go, man, you need to get your words straight. <laughs> I'm going to try a katana instead of a quasar. So we compare the two, two side spin versus three, and we get that little bit of power so I can take the wind out. I want to take the wind out because it's more consistent because when, like I watched one of my teammates, he had a seven wind there using the same ball. I had a 4.2. So you're going to get a different effect with that seven wind than you do with a 4.2 versus um, let's say on the weekend round, they give you a 2.4. So you got your whole shot set up for a two, for a four. And now all of a sudden you have a two, so it. I want to make that shot more consistent so I can get out there deeper, take the wind out, and I've got more curl to keep me away from that rough. I'm definitely going to take my number one bag. And I think my big, I think I was actually in my big dog range last time. I'm going to bring a sniper. I can, get, I can get anything I need to get done up there done with a sniper. Saturn. Worn it. I don't think. I think the Saturn might come into play. And hopefully I don't have to do any uh, curl to get it around the trees. Hopefully I'm, I've am i left myself a little short. So I need to make a whole new note. So I'm going to put on two less than max topspin is what I figured out before. But I think because I came in with a bigger ball now, I may be able to come in with a little bit less than that. So I'm going right at the trunk of that tree. And I'm going to go max. And so I'm going to go max in about two and a half. I'm going to take the wind out. Three, five. I'm going to take out about a ring and a half. Ring in two thirds. And I got all of that. And so taking that wind out is definitely, even with a bigger ball, what the bigger ball did is it threw me further out there. But it actually put me farther where I was more into the... The rough gets deeper out here, so it did put me far, farther forward. But where you're coming out with a quasar is up here at the top. And I got more distance, but I clipped it down here further where I had to I had to get more distance just to clear the rough. I 
I'll have to go back and look at my landing zone. I may be able to come in a ring from that tree and come in a ring to the right. And I've got a lot more breathing room out there. And I think that's exactly what we need to do is come in one ring instead of aiming right towards that tree, come in one ring to the right to open up that mouth. Got plenty of room with my sniper. Let's see if I have enough backspin with it. Maybe. It's about, that's one. I'm gonna go just a hair over two rings. Yeah, I hit great. I don't think I've hit any shots today at all perfect other than the drives. I like the shots coming into these greens. I'm giving myself looks at them, but I'm not, I haven't hit any of them perfect. That area out there will work. Anywhere where you've got a clear path through those trees. And the deal there is, is that you can overshoot that and end up actually more in the area that you would end up in if you were taking the shot from the right. And so like where my opponent's at right there, they overshot that shot and they ended up in the rough. They would have been better served to just go right in the middle of the fairway and pick a spot that was in between those trees. So that they ended up in a very nice lane so they had a decent shot right now because this is not going to be a high percentage shot. I don't see a lot of good things coming out of this. If they make this, that is just absolutely fantastic. Hit the tree. Hit the tree. Good game. Good luck in the tournament. Definitely going to continue to work on that shot. It works with an extra mile and a, and a and a quasar. And with an extra mile and a quasar, you leave the wind in. Leave the wind in. And I think I think the next time I come to that hole, I'm probably going to bring a guardian. Because as much backspin as I had to use right there, I was just barely able to get that done with a sniper. So I probably, I'm going to change some my notes here on that hole. And I'm definitely going to bring a guardian. All right. That was hole number six. I've got so many notes on this hole, it's crazy. Thanks for watching.